For the weeks leading up to Nintendo's E3 2021, almost everyone was expecting the Nintendo Switch Pro to be announced. Bloomberg, Eurogamer, Emily Rogers, and many more were backing that the Nintendo Switch Pro would be announced before E3. And as weeks turned to days, the Nintendo Switch Pro didn't show up. Nintendo hosted their event, and there was no mention of a new system or the production of a new system. So what happened? While there were many Nintendo Switch Pro rumors in the leading weeks to E3, there was one specific idea that the bulk of the media with insider information were all agreeing on, and that was that the Switch revision would be announced prior to E3 2021 as a means of letting Switch developers announce Switch Pro compatible projects. This could have meant that they were aware of what games in the Nintendo E3 presentation were made to be Switch Pro enhanced, so they jumped the gun and just assumed the Switch Pro would have to be announced prior to Nintendo's E3. And there's one game that a lot of people are pointing fingers at, Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Now while a majority of this trailer looks insanely good, it's also mostly pre-rendered cutscenes. What is shown in the gameplay is what most people are referring to. Some shots look like they could be rendered on the regular Switch, as the dark atmosphere results in lesser detail with the cartoony characters, but the brighter locations look beautiful. Which has everyone questioning if this is really gameplay from a regular Switch, or maybe this is gameplay running off of a Switch Pro. So E3 happens and insiders start commenting on the trailer saying things like, the game looks a little too good. But in response, there are those who think it just looks as good as Odyssey, and not so impressive that it would have to be an enhanced game or at least footage we saw was not running off a Switch Pro. The YouTube channel Switch Force believes that there is the possibility of the graphics looking crisper as a result of just innovation in game making since the first Mario plus Rabbids game. Switch Force also talks about a deleted tweet from game journalist and Bloomberg writer Jason Schreier. The tweet read, Remember when Ubisoft announced Watch Dogs in 2012, but the PS4 and Xbox One hadn't been announced yet, so they couldn't say what platforms it was on, or explain how it looked so good? Anyway, here's Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. While it's definitely possible the new Mario plus Rabbids will be Switch Pro enhanced, as its release date is supposedly after the rumored release of the Switch revision, it's important to note that Switch Pro enhanced games will be available for the Nintendo Switch. So if you thought that the gameplay for Mario plus Rabbids Spark to Hope looked pretty normal for a Switch, you might be right, but that doesn't mean that the game won't be enhanced. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is this going to be a Switch Pro enhanced game? Is the Switch Pro even coming? And as always, if you liked today's video, click the hand in the cold ramen and I'll see you guys in the next one.